Wow, look at this orange tree, guys. Aren't those leaves amazing? There's green and then there's bright orange. That is awesome. Oh, getting a call. Hello? Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, everything is going okay. I just, uh, I just hate being in debt. What? You think I should borrow money from my credit cards to pay off my debt? That would be robbing Peter to pay Paul. This is a dumb idea. Hey, I'm just in the middle of making a video. Sorry, I gotta run. Have a great day. Sorry guys, my friend just called and uh, I told him, you know, I hate being in debt. And uh, he told me, why don't I just borrow money from my credit cards to pay off my debt? And I said, that would be robbing Peter to pay Paul. Right, I'm taking money from here and moving it over there, it's debt. If I borrow money from my credit cards, that's debt. And now I'm paying my other debts. It would be like robbing Peter to pay Paul. Have you ever heard that idiom before? <clears throat> robbing Peter to pay Paul. All right, so... <coughs> Sorry, it's uh, morning. <laughs> I need a cup of tea to warm up my voice, guys. <clears throat> so, robbing Peter to pay Paul. That means when you take money from some place and move it to another place and it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to do that because you're not bringing in new money right you're not bringing anything in new now usually we use this for money but it could be for other things too like for things physical things you know i was watching a, a youtube video about military things and they were talking about one country sending you know military equipment to another country and the guy said look just moving moving equipment around like this is like paying it's uh it's it's robbing peter to pay paul okay robbing peter so you could use in that in that video the guy used the the that idiom for to talk about military equipment like what's the use you're moving you're taking military equipment from this country and you're moving it there it's like kind of dumb right guys look at this creek isn't this beautiful this is a nice place guys i'm very blessed to live in a place like this and look at those clouds aren't those like cool little clouds <laughs> that's just over the whole sky that's awesome and uh, we're just walking i'm teaching you an idiom just a nice idiom now you don't hear this idiom very often but it it exists you hear it i heard it just the other day that's why i thought i should make a video about this because maybe you don't know what it means okay so to rob from peter to you're, you're taking money from peter to pay paul now why those names why peter and paul to be honest i don't know i have no idea why we use that and most idioms in english you know people don't know why the idiom came into existence they just know what it means okay so to rob peter to pay paul it's just how it is you take your you're you're taking something from peter and you're paying paul you're not doing anything you're not bringing any money into it right so if i take from my credit card and move money to my other debts i'm just robbing peter to pay paul i'm not bringing any new money into the equation right and so uh my friend was suggesting that and i told him that's such a dumb idea right so we use this idiom when we want to communicate 
that this is a stupid idea. That moving things around without bringing anything new into the mix, it's dumb. There's geese all over the place, guys. There's geese over there. Nice sunrise. Wow, oh, look at these clouds. <laughs> Aren't these nice clouds? Smash like if you love these little clouds. I love these clouds, guys. And look at this. Okay, so yellow leaves right here. Green leaves. Now, you'll notice it's the same tree, right? So this branch, right? That branch is connected to the tree right there, right? So this branch has the yellow leaves, but the other branches, um, they have green leaves. So why is it that this branch, well, even this, even this one has green. Oh no, that's from the other branch. Oh yeah, that's from the other branch. So this whole branch has yellow leaves. The other branches of the tree have green leaves. Why is that? Beats me. I'm not a plant specialist. Are you a plant specialist? Why do some leaves turn yellow and others stay green? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so guys, give me an example of robbing Peter to pay Paul. Have you ever, you know, experienced this in your life? where like let's say for example you borrow money from someone to pay your bills it's kind of like robbing peter to pay paul if you s call up your friend hey jack can i borrow money i need to pay my f other friend that i borrowed s yeah you're just you're moving money right let's say you borrow you pay you have a debt to your friend and you borrow money from another friend to pay that friend. You're just robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're not bringing any of your own money into the equation. And that's, see, that's the way it's supposed to be done, right? If you have debts, you need to earn money from somewhere, like work, a job, or something like that. And you pay off your debts. But if you're just moving money from here to here and has... It's kind of a dumb idea. So we use this idiom when we want to communicate the, the ridiculousness of that. Guys, I feel like I need to sneeze. Uh, do you ever feel like you need to sneeze? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> it's like halfway between. All right, I'll try to power on without sneezing here. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, um, you, you, this idiom exists to point out the dumb idea of, of what you're doing. Okay, so you don't use this idiom in a in a like a serious way, where you where you think it's a good idea. No, it's the point of this idiom is to point out the stupidity of it, right? So if you if you <clears throat> if your friend is doing this like let's say your friend asks you for money your friend says hey can I borrow money I need to pay off John you could say wait you're borrowing money from me to pay off him that's robbing Peter to pay Paul what's the point in that right it's what you're trying to say to your friend that's a stupid idea because then he'll owe you money Right? If he borrows from you to pay his friend, what's the difference? Why would he do that? Now, it's just a matter of who's in, who, who, who he's indebted to. Right? He was indebted to his friend. You gave him money to give to him. Now, your friend is just indebted to you. What's the point in that? Right? Guys, there's a lot of people on this pathway. Uh, I'm just going to hang out on this rock here down by the nice water this is beautiful guys look at this nice water and nice clouds and uh, it's a bit chilly but not too bad um, so I don't know guys that's all I wanted to teach you today just a quick idiom um, 
Yeah. So next time you're in that situation where someone is doing that, because people do this stuff all the time. They do these kind of stupid things where they move money from here to here. You can, next time, you can use this idiom. You can say, you're just robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're staying safe and healthy and happy. Should end the video before these dogs get here to ruin my video. Anyway, guys, as always, I love you so much. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.